Have you ever wondered about the hidden powers of frequency and vibration? These invisible forces play a crucial yet often overlooked role in our lives, impacting our mental and physical health as well as our consciousness. Across multiple cultures, we encounter a profound belief that the universe itself was brought into existence by a divine sound, such as the Om in Hinduism, or the Christian verse, in the beginning was the word. This ancient wisdom suggests that sound and vibration hold the keys to the creation of all matter. There is an area of science that is called cymatics that studies visible sound and vibration frequencies. As sound moves through the elements of nature such as earth and water, it changes the physical structure. This is also true with the human body at a cellular level. Watch this cymatics visual called the Cladney Plate Experiment, a physical demonstration of increasing hertz, or the rate of vibration, increases the complexity of the geometry of the sand particles on a Cladney plate. This is an amazing experiment which visually proves that different rates of frequencies create different geometrical structures. Expanding on this concept, we learn about resonance. I won't add resonance clips into this video, but if you need visual proof, I recommend searching for resonance experiments. Resonance is a phenomenon where, if two frequencies align or are in harmony, they can amplify their impact. It's like pushing a swing at just the right time to make it swing higher and higher, or boosting a jump on the trampoline with aligned timing. The famous 432 hertz is the natural resonance of Earth. Studies have shown that listening to 432 hertz music can help to stimulate the brain's alpha waves, which are associated with a state of wakeful relaxation. The heartbeat resonates sympathetically with music tuned to A432, such that our body's atoms, thought waves, and even our DNA respond positively as we listen. The ancient spiritual masters deeply understood the concept of mathematics and the divine knowledge encoded in areas such as geometry, frequencies, harmonics, astrology, and more. Famous philosophers such as Plato and Pythagoras emphasized the importance of mathematics' role to advance on the spiritual journey as mathematics is encoded in everything including the Great Pyramid of Giza. Some believe that 43,200 was used in the Great Pyramid to encode the speed of light. The distance the Earth spins or rotates at the equator in two seconds is equal to the perimeter of the Great Pyramid of Giza. Since there are 86,400 seconds in a day, two seconds is one slash 43,200th of a day. Multiplying the height of the Great Pyramid by 43,200 equals the polar radius of the Earth. Multiplying the perimeter of the Great Pyramid by 43,200 equals the equatorial circumference of the Earth. The Great Pyramid, therefore, is a 143,200 scale model of the Northern Hemisphere of Earth and represents a 143,200 ratio of time in a day. The mathematics seems complex and very advanced for such an ancient structure. The truth is, the ancient sages understood the importance of 432 hertz and its relationship with the Earth. Nikolai Tesla once said, if you only knew the magnificence of the three, six, and nine, then you would have a key to the universe. There is deep esoteric knowledge in 432 hertz, representing three, six, and nine. Without getting too far into it as it would require its own video, if you divide 432 by 12, which is another sacred mathematical number, you get 36, and 3 plus 6 equals 9. The sum number of every duplicate of 36 equals 9. Look at this picture to understand the mathematical harmony visually. So, what happens if the frequencies we are exposed to are out of tune to our natural resonance? Well, this is where things get interesting. If we apply the ancient hermetic law of correspondence, that is that all levels of the universe act like a cosmic mirror. That is, each unit of the universe is connected from cellular activity to the vast galaxies of the universe. They are all similar and influence each other. We find an interesting connection between how frequencies connect to our body, mind, and our consciousness. We have visually seen this with our modern cymatics experiment. 
where frequencies mirror themselves with the sand particles. So for example, if 432 Hertz is played, it organizes the geometry in the water within our cells. This then mirrors into our brain entering an alpha brain wave state, releasing chemicals that make our body and emotions feel very relaxed and more receptive to joy. Once our mind and our heart resonate in this meditative state, our body sends out positive vibrations through its electromagnetic field and so on. Just like the hermetic saying, as above, so below, as within, as without. This may be complex to understand at first, but have you ever felt this before? When you listen to beautiful music, it ripples through your body, changing the state of your emotions? Or vice versa, have you ever listened to music that made your muscles tighten and become angrier? It is confirmed by some doctors today as a fact that healthy tissue has more structured water than unhealthy tissue. Check out the difference in the structure of these particles from 432 Hertz compared to 440 Hertz. Nikola Tesla stated the brain and the earth itself work on the same frequencies. If we can control that resonant system electronically, we can directly control the entire mental system of humankind. Well. This is exactly what the Nazi party tried to do right before World War I in 1939. Nazi propaganda minister Joseph Goebbels argued on behalf of changing the standard of frequencies in the music industry, effectively persuading Hitler's supposed enemies in Britain to adopt this allegedly superior standard tuning for the master race. The idea was that 440 Hertz frequency was specifically selected for being disharmonious and for being implemented to produce anxiety in the general population. 440 Hertz is at the furthest point from a resonant frequency. Therefore, it creates the most distorted structures. This idea was later adopted by the Rothschild and Rockefellers Foundation as part of the war on consciousness to cause more mental and physical illness by changing the ISO standard from 432 Hertz to 440 Hertz. You must be aware of this when mindlessly listening to mainstream music if you want to progress your consciousness. There has been no beneficial reason why this change was made. Whether these theories are true or not, it is certain that frequencies have a profound effect on the body and the mind. The ancients understood that a simple sound could reorganize the body's structure. Sounds that are harmonious activate the body and create healing. Our ancestors composed harmonious chants and hymns to manipulate the intensity of sound vibrations and their healing capacities. Of the many civilizations that understood the healing nature of sound, one of them was Egypt. The Egyptians used toning. Toning is an ancient method of healing. The idea is to simply restore people to their harmonic patterns. According to the acoustician John Stuart Reed, the king's chamber in the Great Pyramid of Giza was designed to reverberate to increase the sound energy from ritualistic chants. He claims that his chronic pain in the lower back was healed while conducting cymatics experiments in the pyramid. Scientist Itzhak Bentov writes, Illness is nothing but an out-of-tune behavior of one or the other organs in the body. When a cell is stressed or diseased, its frequency changes and it starts vibrating discordantly. He hypothesizes that when a strong harmonizing rhythm is applied, the malfunctioning cell might just start beating in tune again. Even NASA, renowned for its pioneering work in space exploration, delved into the potential of pulsed electromagnetic field for their astronauts. Their research aimed at combating the detrimental effects of being in a microgravity environment. What they discovered was groundbreaking. Specific electromagnetic frequencies could not only enhance tissue repair, but also facilitate the regeneration of bone, essential for astronauts returning from space where bone density is affected. Even more astonishing, it showed promise in managing neurodegenerative diseases, fostering hope for those battling conditions like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's through cellular restoration. This works by understanding that water has memory, then storing the specific frequency that provides a natural remedy directly into the cell. 
This is 528 hertz frequencies being emitted into water and using light to see the specific geometrical structures that resonate. Look at this video of frequencies changing the geometrical structure of water. If frequencies carry hidden geometry patterns within them, it has been theorized that crop circles are created from transmitting a frequency through an electromagnetic beam. It would explain the perfect geometry, instant creation, and many more fascinating details. Many musicians claim that tuning their instruments to 432 hertz makes a big difference in clarity in mind, singing, and sensations. There have even been musicians that have synesthesia, which is when your brain causes you to experience more than one sense simultaneously, like linking colors to sound, report that when they tune their music to 432 hertz, the colors they see are brighter and more different. 528 hertz is said to be the core creative frequency that has the power to change your DNA. It is certain that frequencies hold hidden powers, and if we want to progress in our lives, we must be aware of the positive and negative effects of frequencies on the body, mind, and consciousness. Learning is a part of progression. We are all bounded by energy, and if we can resonate with the Earth's frequency, we can create a shift in consciousness from ourselves to societies, to the whole world. Confucius once said, If one should desire to know whether a kingdom is well governed, if its morals are good or bad, the quality of its music will furnish the answer. There may be powerful forces at play in the world that are trying to control you in ways you aren't aware of. It's important not to worry about these things, but to be aware of the effects so you can understand the hidden powers of frequency and vibrations. You can use this knowledge to unlock more progression, overcome obstacles you were not previously aware of, and create a better world for yourself and others. If you have watched this far, I am grateful and would deeply appreciate any likes, comments, or subscribes. Thank you for watching and feel free to watch another video provided on the end screen.